So in this video, we've got a double review and a head-to-head -head comparison with two of the big brands and two limited edition drivers. Stay tuned. So in my hands, I've got a tailor-made burner mini driver and also the brand new, just released Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke TIE 340 Mini Driver. Can that name get any longer? I don't think it can. So two mini drivers from two of the big brands here. Mini drivers are a, uh, an interesting category really, aren't they? Maybe aimed at that golf who's looking for that little bit more control, struggles maybe a little bit with the driver, wants that accuracy, but still striving for some maximum sort of distance off the tin. I think these are where, was where these drivers really come into it. But there's also a little bit of a big stumbling block I find with these two drivers, which we're gonna talk a, lot, a little bit about later in this video. So before we start hitting some ball, let's just talk about what a mini driver actually is. So basically it's a shorter length shaft. So we've got a, both of these are actually 43 and three quarter inches in length. So typical drivers around that sort of 45 and a half to 45 three quarters, shorter than a driver length. That's the control aspect. The head size then becomes a smaller than a driver, but bigger than a three wood. So that's the combination that's obviously going to help you try and help you find the middle of the golf club a little better get a little bit more spin maybe, and also get some control and hit those fairways. So let's start off with the TaylorMade. So we've got the Burner Mini Driver. So TaylorMade generally bring these out and they're a limited edition. That's the point I was sort of making at the start of this video. That's for me is a little bit of a, I feel a little bit of an error and, and I'm not sure why the companies do these as a limited offering because they literally come in, they go and that's it. You can't get over them. So the hype's there, everybody's sort of wanting them. And I feel like we, they could sell a lot of drivers in this sort of area, but whether that's taken away from the sales of the main driver, I don't know, but they always tend to be a limited offer. Now, TaylorMade always pr produced this as a bit of a retro club. You know, we see some the old style branding and we definitely see that in this. So taken from the, the 90s in the burner era, we've got the old TaylorMade logo, which I really quite like in a way, and that copper uh, and black look. So Visually, it looks really, really nice. Comes in two lofts. We've got 11 and a half degree head and we've got a 13 and a half, which is what I've got in my hands here. Adjustability in the in the neck sleeve here and really a lot of the technology that we do see in the drivers. Twist face, we've got the speed pocket, we've got the carbon crown, the titanium frame. We've got two weights which can switch forwards and backwards. So 13 gram weight, which I'm gonna use this as, is in the front of the head, in the head, which is the heavier weight, 1.5 gram in the back of the driver. So again, we can switch those around and you know maybe just change to the launch spin a little bit of that ball speed as well great look behind the ball like that copper front edge see plenty of the faces say this is 13 and a half that's a good strike seems to be hanging in the air for a long time that's nice and straight as well which is good middle of the club so club head speed obviously isn't going to be as fast as driver because the shaft length is a little bit shorter so i'm probably about i don't know five mile an hour back on my uh, club head speed there but decent carry 258 run out 272 so that's you know obviously it's back from a driver but it's obviously longer than my three wood. So visuals of the looks behind that golf ball in that address position, really nice sort of shaping. It's a 304 cc head, so obviously a lot smaller than a typical driver at 460 cc. Obviously this is a 13 and a half, so we've seen a little bit of loft there, but it just, just sits a little bit sort of towed in uh, for me. Now, again, we've got adjustability in the next sleeve, so if you didn't like that, we can move that loft down, and as we move it down, we'll slightly open or re-square for me. That club face will probably sit a little bit better. So. As I say, with the loft offerings there, you might just be deciding whether you're using this off the tee a lot more, or maybe as a maybe a fairway would replace them as well. Oh, it's a good strike again. Real good positive crack to that. I like the sound of that. It's not too dull that sometimes you get with those carbon driver heads in a way, but um, a little bit more lively is probably a good way to sort of describe that. Definitely something I've found in the past with reviewing mini drivers, accuracy wise is excellent and that's a, a nice sort of selling point i think for a lot of golfers who maybe just struggle a little bit driver whether it's a bit of a technique thing or it's just a confidence thing sometimes of the length of the golf club okay that wasn't great that was healy and that's probably a really good example with the mini driver that hasn't peeled away from target a lot that's still hitting the fairway spin's gone up because the strike wasn't great 
admittedly, so I'm dropping back yardage, but I'm in play. So maybe decide on what loft you're going to go for. It's maybe where you're going to be using this on the golf course. I'd say probably the high percentage of people buying this club will be a replacement, maybe driver off the tee. We've seen Tommy Fleet would actually put a mini driver in the bag. I think he used it in the Ryder Cup as another option for him on certain length of holes for him on that golf course in Paris. 13 and a half, maybe more for the guy who's maybe trying to hit it off the fairway. What I would say off the fairway, it's probably quite tough to hit deeper face, obviously a larger head, you've got to probably have a bit of speed and be a good ball striker. Even though they've got this K sole, which does allow what Telemir is saying, a little bit of ease of flight from the ground, but I'd still say it's quite a tough club to hit. Probably definitely more of a T option for me. And then you've got the option of just playing around a little bit with the weights. And again, nice strike. I mean, that's flying pretty high actually. This is where I think the 11 and a half would Sort of actually a little bit heel that one too. But good distance there again, 160, sorry, 267. So for me, that good looking driver just sits a little bit close for me. Sounds fantastic, feels really good. I really like the sort of the feel off the club face, nice sort of feedback through the club. Availability wise, 11 and a half, as I mentioned, and 13 and a half. We've got the adjustability, of course. And if you're left handed, then the 11 and a half is your only option. Right, so switching now over into the Callaway. So are you ready for this? Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Tie 340 Mini Driver. Yeah, let that one absorb in. They have done a Mini in the past, if I can remember. I honestly can't remember the name of it. It's been, I think, a number of years since they've done a Mini Driver. But again, I get why brands are sort of doing these. I definitely feel like there's a market for it. So again, initial looks, it just looks like this AI Smoke Driver that we've seen. Smaller version of it, 340, as it says in the name, CC head. So larger than the tailor-made. So maybe if you're looking for that larger head, bit more maybe mass down there to give you that bit of conference maybe the callaway might just edge it for you i think the, the length is exactly the same as the tail made so 43 uh, and three quarter inches um, and i think with that slightly bigger head it just makes it feel a little bit shorter just with the with the, with the depth there really in a way the, again 13 and a half degree they do do 11 and a half as the tailor-made does adjustability and pretty much all the same tech that we do see in the drivers with that adjustability of the weights which we're going to talk about initial looks great I, and i'm a big fan of the the smoke driver that real sort of carbon top gloss carbon top I really like that with that uh, matte front section sit that down that sits a hell of a lot squarer than the tailor made so that's ticking a box for me straight away just with visuals okay nice solid feel touch up the left side there with that opener with the callaway but it is going to be fine in that fairway slightly low in the face the spin might just pop up a little bit yeah three four short of three just short of 3500 again it's in that sort of distance number around that sort of 270 uh run out so as i say Pretty much the same technology you see with the drive. We've got the AI face, very visual carbon top, again, replacing weight in other areas. Adjustability in that neck sleeve, so we can really sort of dial that loft up and down. Also a little bit of lie angle. And then again, we've got two movable weights, which can flip from front to back. The weight's a little bit different to the TaylorMade. So the Callaway, we've got a 12 gram and a four gram. I've got the 12 forward like the tailor made the heavier weight in that forward position to give it more sort of penetration a little bit more control of spin and trying to get that sort of ball speed as fast as i can so a very similar sort of flight that we've seen with the tailor made to me visually just as a look at that again that was low in the face that yeah that spin is going to pop up and again that's more of a miss strike from me to be honest you know just the gear effect kicking him but it's one of those where you know i'm, I'm probably 20 yards further back but again, I'm pretty much in that fairway with that shot. So, you know, that's, uh, I think this is where you, as a golfer, you want to be sort of weighing up the situation here, don't you? Can you afford to maybe just drop back a little bit and try and hit more fairways if you're struggling to control your driver? then again, these could be a very, very good sort of option. Again, the massive downside for me is you probably won't see these in your fitting centers because they're super limited. So literally, like with the tailor-made there, they'll bring out so many. I think certain areas or regions will get so many and it won't be a lot. Once they've gone, they've gone. And it's as simple as that. So I don't think these will be in fitting centers, so to speak. So if you'd go and try it, it might be very limited. It's one of those where you sort of got to purchase it. If you can get hold of one, you've done really well. That's a nice strike. Yeah, good f again, good flat. Probably for the 11 and a half, just get it a little bit more flatter for me personally, get that spin down a little bit more. But you know, that's that's doing a great job around that sort of 270 mark with both the Callaway and the TaylorMade, you know, um, but accuracy wise. And conference as well, it feel like, 
I'm going to hit the ball a little bit straighter, feel confident. And that's a big feedback I find with a lot of golfers when they get these in their hands, is they just get instantly that, that confidence of control. Oh, that's a great one to finish off there with the Callaway. Again, good sort of feel to that. I probably prefer the feel of the tailor made, a little bit more of a crack to it. Again, this is a little bit more of that duller, very much that carbon sort of sound. Um, I quite like the crack that the tailor made provides, but look wise between those two, I don't mind either, to be honest. I like both of those. I like, prefer the Callaway, how it sits a little bit squarer, but then again, I can alter the neck sleeve to get the, the face to sit how I'd like it with the tailor made. Post comments down below. Let me know your thoughts between these two clubs, but also mini drivers as a whole. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Have you got one? Love to hear your thoughts as always. Probably performance wise between these two, not a great deal in it to be honest they're doing very much a similar sort of job but accuracy control is the message with mini drivers appreciate you watching the video as always and hopefully catch up with you all very soon